Hey there, welcome back to this lesson where I'm going to teach you how to make your guitar sound like ukulele. So my name is Dave, I'm from guitarico.com and I put up new lessons each week here on YouTube. I have zero ukulele lessons up, but I do have another video on how to make your guitar sound like a harp and another video on how to make your guitar sound like a banjo, which over 18,000 people have viewed, if you want to check that one out. Well, I'm going to bring you through why this is a good thing to do. First of all, very quickly, basically, when I was learning years ago, do you remember that song? It was uh, Summer Over the Rainbow. The Somewhere Over the... So I was due to play this in school at the time, and what happened was I had no ukulele. So I had to think on my feet, and back then ukuleles, they weren't the most common instrument around. We are talking like 2000 and... I think it was 2004. So I had to get brainstorming how to make my guitar sound like one. So for this first step, I have a capo on the fifth fret. Now, why is that? Well, the thing is, when you put a capo on the fifth fret, it makes the strings higher, of course, we know that. But it's the last four strings I want you to begin now to pay attention to. It's this. Those four notes are a G, a C, an E, and an A. And if I get my ukulele and we look at those four strings, you'll notice that we get the exact sounding notes. That are on our guitar now of course for the more eagle ear to you out there yes i made up a term um that first string is tuned higher than the guitar one but it's the same note so that is step number one grab your capo and put it on the fifth fret and when you do that get ready with me for step two step two is to practice strumming your bottom four strings just get used to doing it like that There's no real way for us to block out the top two strings of our guitar, so I would suggest a few minutes of just practicing that. And imagine it's a ukulele and imagine the neck is just that length. That's a really quick tip before we get on to number three. Number three is use your thumb over the fretboard to get that woolly sound. Use your thumb over the fretboard to get that woolly sound. So the thing is, you could have the capo on, you could go, oh, cool, this is cool, I'll strum the bottom four strings. And then you grab a pick, and this happens. So you can hear it sounds really tinny, which doesn't really suit our searching of the ukulele sound. So we'll drop the pick, we're gonna use our thumb, very similar to ukulele, but here's the big thing. If you use your thumb here, it's too tinny. Now listen as I move up the neck gets woolier and watch those top strings <laughs> we don't want that so here's an example of me trying to sound like a ukulele on a well-known song so if we take hey soul sister by train if i use a strumming full chords and a pick it goes your lipstick stains and so on okay it's very full on we drop it and we go your lipstick stains and you might want to spend a bit longer just practicing more of the tone and more of the strumming but that's going to get you on your way so what happened with that story of school was basically i bluffed it i like found the capo position i used the picket first but then i was like no the thumb works best and i just practiced more and more and i did listen to a few ukulele songs as well so i hope you found these tips useful and go and try them out and remember it's a skill to learn it won't like magically turn your guitar into a ukulele and it will never fully match the tone of a ukulele but if you're stuck 
and you want to have a bit more creative fun with the guitar, you know what to do. And if you're looking for some songs to try this out with, I have a song library where I have a load over 80 interactive tabs and chord sheets of many well-known songs. So if you want to check that out and try this out with it, feel free, you'll have some fun. You'll find the link below. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next lesson.